If I bring a whole bunch of ash up to the overworld, will the fire blossoms just naturally start growing on it, or do they only grow on it uh, on ash that's actually in the underworld biome? Does anyone know? Um, let's, I might die down here, but let's uh, let's hop down here a little bit. Yikes! Oh gosh! And just get a sense of how prepared or not I am to be down here, and also see if we can get our first fire blossom possibly. Oh, and I want to get buckets of lava. Let's let's do that right now before I forget. Am I close enough that I can fill them up? Probably. Uh, bucket. Bloop. Bloop. Yes, two buckets of lava. Okay, great. So we got that. And then with a little bit of light... Oh, is there a uh, furnace here? Uh, what do you call it? Hellforge. Let's grab that. Crazy pulsating demon torches don't matter too much. Um... All right, let's see if we can quickly, possibly, find a good spot to grab a witch and a If you happen to drop that demon scythe spell too, that would be pretty nice. Uh, any fire blossoms in view? Hi, crazy lap slime. Bye, bye, crazy lap slime. I don't see any there. I might end up just digging some ash and making a little bridge out of ash down here as a way to find some fire blossoms easily. Ouch, 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 okay. Oh, there's one over there, I think. I think I see one. In case I am correct, let's try not to harvest it yet. It's really hard to see. In case I'm correct, we'll do that. Empty bucket. Ouch! Why did I do that? <laughs> um, okay. If there was a fire blossom there, it might have been immature, and, uh... I did not just get anything from that. It's okay. Let's collect a little bit of ash blocks so that we have some in our inventory. And actually start building with them horizontally. Making it easier at some point in the future. Crap. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Go away, bad things. I should throw a campfire down here somewhere. That would be smart. Um, interesting. My campfire and my heart lantern are currently back over the ocean because I left them behind. Folks probably pointed that out when I left the ocean, but I did not notice at the time. Sorry. All right, you are going to be pain in the neck. And once I get in here, you're going to teleport away, aren't you? Nope, oh, nope. I managed to get there in time. Hooray. Let's get some easy ash blocks over here. Ah! There we go. Alright, and take the said ash blocks. And continue my tiny little bridge. To the left. Ouch. Alright. Say goodbye to the Hellbat. Alright, that'll at least be a place that we'll be more likely to see fire blossoms in the future. And in the meantime, do I see any over here, over here? I don't think so. I would love to get just one fire blossom seed if I can while I'm down here. They can be really hard to see. Yeah, I thought I'd seen one before that I tried to pour the lava when I was trying to pour the lava back over to the right over there. Um, but I think my eyes deceived me. Unfortunately, the little plants, like the background, has like the little red bits that stick up and it looks a lot like the plants, I think. Um, so they can be really hard to see. Oh boy, that is gonna hurt if I get hit by the demon sight. Alright, good. Lost some money, but that's okay. Haha! -ha! That is one thing that the Muramasa is very good for killing those guys. Doing a lot of damage in a short period of time. Alright, I'm gonna grab my. Bucket of lava back, please. Thank you. 
It's weird when you're like holding it in your hand and then it auto stacks into your inventory so it's no longer in your hand. But as far as inventory management problems, that's a small enough one that it's not worth complaining about. Alright, any fire blossom visible? Not really. And can I can I dig this up? Right, I can already dig up Hellstone. Alright, well we'll get a little bit of that. It's easily accessible. Good enough for now. I'm not gonna focus on Hellstone right at the moment. Still not seeing any fire blossom. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Alright, I am seeing a very dangerous enemy coming right for me. Ouch. Alright. As long as he doesn't knock me into the lava, I should probably be okay. He's got the darkness debuff on me. Makes it hard to see. Let's also see if I can get some light on the ceiling. Alright, there's a place right there. There we go. That'll help a bit. And let's go ahead and take our ash blocks and also just start covering up some more of the lava like that. And then let's come back to this little ouch. Do, 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 do. On fire! He's on fire! Fire! Come back to this little bridge and see if we happen to get lucky enough that fire blossom spawned. I don't think so. There we go. Torch the ceiling. Alright, we'll try exploring to the right a little ways and see if we can manage to stay alive over there and find one, perhaps. Bink. Bink. Oh, ceiling's really high over here. There we go. Alright, I'm in deep concentration mode trying to spy a fire blossom somewhere, and it's not happening. Let's do this. Get that out of the way over there, where it's not going to burn the Brian. Pick up some convenient ash block while we're here. Yeah, I'm still not seeing one. Wow. similar kind of thing over here, both to cover up the path, make me less likely to fall in the lava, and to have more places for them to spawn in the future. I'm just going to let's go ahead and get the ash blocks. Oh crap! Hey! Go away! Hey! 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 Who's, who's shooting me? There you are. I see you. <laughs> Trying to be in my inventory here. Let's put them up there and have them on the bar. And just go like this. Boop, 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 boop. And then let's go get rid of this, because this is annoying me. There we go. Ouch! Alright, and this guy is gonna deal some damage, unless I kill him first. Muramasa does not suck. I did not remember those guys going down that easily. Admittedly, I've got Muramasa, which has a good swing speed, coupled with uh, the... Uh, oh, crap, 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 crap. Alright, they're still out there. That's not good. Coupled with the... Um, Feral Claws, and something else was giving me melee speed. Yeah, the horseshoe right now is giving me melee speed, so... Oh crap! Heal! I did not realize just how close to death I was there. And let's go ahead and craft another campfire, please. Crap! Alright, hold on. Kill, kill, kill! Uh, campfire, campfire, campfire. Zoink! Alright, there we go. Let's heal up a little bit. And I've not caught up with the chat in a bit, so let me do that. <laughs> Supporter of Camel Case! <laughs> with a bunch of underscores in his name. That seems odd. Menacing Magma Stone! Wow! Hey, that's a thing that helps prevent you against fire. Inflict- oh no, inflicts fire damage on attack. That's still interesting. Oh, and I did pick up a fire blossom at some point. 
Um, so at least I have one, but I don't have the seeds yet. And I do have a shadow key. I hadn't thought about that. We might be able to find shadow chests. Um, I think they're usually on top of these things. That's a possible thing. Alright. I made a trap. Is it because there's the lava and there's enemies who are trying to get over here, or is it because this thing is kind of curled? Oh, crap! <laughs> Pointing one way on the screen, and then enemy attacks from another. Well, I guess they're both coming from the left, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could wear the obsidian... Yeah, and I don't need the water walking boots down here. I should wear that so I don't take knockback, so I don't get knocked into the lava while I'm down here. Alright, we're gonna use one more healing potion. And then with 300 and something hit points, I think we'll be okay to continue the exploration. And so that is what we'll do. I grab some coins and probably continue to build this bridge. All right, you are gonna be very annoying unless I can go find you and kill you. Come teleport up here, please. There you go. Good job. The enemy is teleported within reach of the Muramasa. Rejoice! See, now Tolkus, there's one where you can take credit, potentially. Because I just said rejoice out of nowhere. Hey! You jump high, crazy lob slime. Boop, 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 boo! Run out of ash blocks. Bummer! Uh, let's go get some more ash, because I prefer to make all these things out of ash so I can get my fire blossoms at some point. The best place to mine ash blocks is from the ceiling! Hello, ceiling! Give me all your stuff. There we go. Haha, <laughs> fire bat just gets eaten up by the nightmare pickaxe. Silly fire bat. I used to work as a programmer. I don't know if I count as anyone here. Ah, darn it. I really don't like those things. In fact, if I do this and this, oh, that's not so bad then. It's like Minecraft when you, like, shore up a little area where water is coming in so that it doesn't drip everywhere. Alright, let's put some... Oh, darn it. Let's put a couple of torches along here. So it's not completely dark. There we go. This place is just looking better and better. Any shadow chests? Nope. Taking a lot of damage there. Did he just drop an item? If it did, it went into the lava. I'm gonna go walk over near the lava here just in case there was an item somehow there that I wanted to get. I thought I saw something fall in. If it did and it's still alive, it would be like way down here. No, I guess not. Or at least I'm going to imagine that, so I don't have to worry about it. Alright, I still haven't found a shadow chest. Is there anything I really need or want from the shadow chests, really? I don't know that there is. It's mostly because I happened to notice that I had the shadow key in my inventory, and I was like, hey, opportunity. It is a knockin'. Alright, let's grab... Let's get these moved over there. And then I can start mining this hellstone, probably. Because why not? It's easily accessible. Let's take advantage of such a rare opportunity to get an easy hellstone. And now let's switch to bridge building time. Do 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 do. I'm a 
a bridge building fool. Alright, I hear demons. They're demon scythe. Trying to deal some damage. I feel like they don't do as much damage as they used to. I thought they used to be a really hard enemy. Or maybe, what's my defense? 23 defense. It doesn't seem like that's super high for this stage of the game. I don't know, they do a lot of rebalancing in this game over time. Oh! I'm pretty sure that's Fire Blossom. Uh, let's do this. Crap. Yeah, I just picked it up. Darn it, the Muramasa grabbed it while I was fighting that enemy. I should have seen that coming. Um, Alright, so I lost my chance to get the Fire Blossom seeds there. But another opportunity will arise. At some future point in time. So we'll sit tight. Everything's gonna be alright. Ah, but I'm out of ash again. Alright, let's try going back to the... from the way I came and see if there's any new fire blossoms that have appeared. Apparently there was one there at some point that I didn't notice. Also trying to put some light down to make it a little bit easier to see periodically in different places. Oh boy. And have I been down here? Is this where I came in? This is, yeah, like where I came in. Yeah, there's still more to the left. Okay. I just want to make sure it's safe before I go. Jumping off into the void and discover that it's all lava and nothing to stand on. Let's put another torch over here, too. Crazy bone serpent. Crazy fire imp. Alright, I didn't see any more fire blast. Oh no! Oh boy! Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't see any more fire blossoms. And I ran out of, uh, what do you call again? So, I think let's head upstairs and switch back to a fishing quest, because I'm getting bored down here and not making much progress. I will, however, go ahead and add the fire blossoms that I did get into this chest, and also do a quick stack, and a quick stack, and the magma stone. Let's keep it in a, uh, a slot like that, so I might end up using it at some point in the future. And let's switch these back around, and... I have a couple more things that will quick stack up here. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, tell me about quest fish. Eater of Plankton, a corrupt fish. Mutated from the Eater of Worlds. Okay. Eater of Plankton. Let's take a shot at that guy. Which means I need to get some more bait. Need to be uh, catching it with my bug net when I see opportunities as well. But Eater of Worlds, I know where that would be found. So let's head in that direction. Why did I leave programming? I wasn't enjoying my job and I haven't seen another one come along. Well, haven't been doing a whole lot of looking because I've really been enjoying the time off. Um, but yeah. That really interested me again. Um, Eskimo pants. Vanity item. I do not need Chirithorin. That's something I do need. Um, yeah, I mean, I still like programming, but... Yeah, I don't know. The job ended up being... Stressful and unfulfilling after a time. Alright, I forgot to look and see if there are any good water places in here to go fishing. I presume it's around here that we need to be. So let's take a look at the map. Looks like directly below me is the best chance. Uh, let's go ahead, let's do some bombs just quickly, kind of zoop, zoop, zoop. Get a sense of what is around here. 
It's not a very huge water thingy. I wonder if I can connect. Not easily. I might have to do some water duplication in here basically before this is big enough. It's probably just big enough right now. Let's let's see if we can catch a fish in here or not. Got a crate! I should check it. I should open a few of these crates. I think you get better stuff in hard mode, but I've got enough of them that I should open a couple more and see if they give me some cool fishing bonuses. I could try using some better bait as well. I've pretty much just been using the earthworms. Yeah, basically as a programmer, yeah, you need to know when to, I don't know, press back. Make sure you're not getting exploited, because a lot of places will try to take advantage. It's a, you know, in general, like, it's a very in-demand skill. Uh, and so, yeah, just try to make sure that you do get yourself set up in a good situation. And for a number of years, I was. And that's really kind of, yeah... Well, let me make some money so that I can take the time off and not worry about eating. <laughs> Starving to death. Um, alright, let's do... Ah, darn it. Go away. Just trying to get these little other bits of water that are over here to empty out into this water to make it a little bit bigger. But it has a lot of things going for it, too. A lot of places you can work from home... Uh, or kind of like work your own hours because it's usually the case that it's just like, you know, there's a project you're working on that needs to get done and sometimes you can do it quickly and sometimes it takes longer, but uh, there's less in the way of, you know, like nine to five meetings and depending upon who you work for, dress codes and different kind of stuff. Tin can! Yeah, it seems like this is another water area that's not super big. And so maybe I should experiment with the pumps. Actually, at this point, I didn't even think about came over here, and I'm also not sure. It was already nighttime, and so we're near the end of the day for this fishing quest. So we'll try catching two more things. And if we don't get lucky enough to get the Eater of Plankton, then uh, we'll go home and we'll make a pump, and we'll play around with that a little bit. Alright, didn't get it in two more catches, so... Let's do a couple of things. One is, even though I don't need them anymore... Actually, Fallen Stars are still a potion ingredient, and so they should be in my potion ingredient chest, actually. Which they are! Okay, great. Quick stack. Quick stack. I'm gonna open this crate for funsies. Right-click to open. Kazam! Silver bars. Possibly the fireflies, or possibly I already had them. Okay, Eskimo pants I do not care about, so let's sell them. Great. And, okay. And it's also, I should be able to quick stack something in here. There we go. In here. And in here. Okay. And I have some Hellstone now and Hellstone Forge. Let me go ahead and replace the furnace with the Hellstone Forge while I'm thinking of it. And the furnace, I guess, I'm not going to really need. Oh, and we're going to get a new fishing quest again. Um, and the Hellstone, I was just about to say, goes in. Hey, God, get out of the way. You're standing in front of my chest. This is another thing that they need to fix. <laughs> when NPCs stand directly in front of your chest, and then you can't access them. Greetings, fun. Is there something I can help you with? Yes, you get out of the way so I get it. The chest that's right behind you. Uh, there we go. Okay. Moving right along. Hellstone can go here, I suppose. I don't know why there's potions in that chest. That should be down here. This chest is getting very full. That is fine. Um, I can craft another heart lantern also while I'm going to be using some iron because I left one of them behind. It'd be nice to have them along. So I need some iron, I just said. Let's get a fair bit of... Actually, let's get... I've got a whole bunch of iron ore. Let's get a bunch of that and just smelt it right now. Zing. Okay. And so, I know I can make some chains for the Heart Lantern. 
Here we go. Actually, do I still have chains left? I probably do. I make ten at a time. I don't immediately see them though. Okay. Make some chains. Make a heart lantern. So I have one of those along with my campfire. It's like things to just kind of hold on to. And then, right, we were going to buy some wire and make a pump. And so let me go buy one piece of wire. And then talk to the guy and see what recipes I want to know about. Crafting. Tell me what I can make with wire. Five second timer, right. Uh, would also be a good thing to do. So one second timer would be a platinum watch or a gold watch. Okay, I could make that. So that's probably useful. Outlet pump receives water from inlet pumps. And inlet pump sends water to outlet pumps. And then an active and active stone bricks. Okay. And that takes 10 iron. And that takes 10 iron and 2 wire. And that takes 1 wire. So I'm going to need 5 wire for all this. Okay. Zing, zing, zoom. Not that wire is all that expensive, but I'm still trying to save up for some things. Alright, so I should be able to make an inlet pump, an outlet pump. Okay, inlet pump, kazam. Outlet pump, kazam. And then I would like to make a gold watch, and I probably have some gold. So yeah, that's an example of something that gold is useful for, for example. And yeah, I need to do that at like a table and chair, I think. Yeah, gold watch. All right. And then I can combine that into one second timer. All right. And I'm gonna need some more wire to actually wire things up, of course. Should have thought of that. Always buy more wire than you need. Maybe it actually was good advice. We'll do 20 and hope that's going to be enough. And at some point, I'm going to need the wire cutter. Uh, and so let's go ahead and go ahead and grab that. We'll pick up my wrench of wrenchy goodness out of here. Like so. I don't think I'm going to need a pressure plate, but I'll grab one of them in case I need it. And let's go back up to where the party girl was and just kind of experiment now with using the pump in order to do awesome things. Actually, there's going to be a new fishing quest. Let's find out what the new fishing quest is. Floating underwater, underground, swimming... Bonefish. Okay, so it sounds like just underground. So what's actually for normal underground? Let's go like over here or something and see if I can make a big bigger water pool somewhere right over there. Actually, I just fell down my right. I didn't mean to be here, necessarily. Cobwebs, I think, will prevent more spider webs from growing there. But this will be... Well, that's kind of mushroom biome. Where's the underground that I want to be? I want to be up and left. So let's go where I intended to go. Yeah, over here. Like, here's a water pool of at least some appreciable size already. Uh, let's see if we can figure out how to make this thing bigger. So I'm guessing I need an inlet pump somewhere in the water. Get to place it on something, maybe? Yes, okay, great. Okay, so there's an inlet pump. Then let's make like a little duplicator thingy. Let's kill this guy first. So if I did something like boop 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 Let's see. Alright, looks like I need more space to place this thing. And where does it come out exactly? It's not clear to me. Well, we'll experiment and find out.
All right, there is an out pump. Uh, all right, that's not gonna be exactly how I want it to go. Let's let's fiddle around with this for a second. Okay, I think maybe what I want to do. Yeah, let's try that. So then we'll fall down, some of it go there, and some of it go there, and duplicate. If I break this, it'll turn into like two pieces, maybe? Let's fiddle with that for a second, except that's gonna be too far away to wire up, because I didn't bring that much wire. Only got 20 pieces, and I can go a little bit farther than that. So let's make these things a little bit closer. Let's go like that. And like that, maybe? Yeah, let's try that. Okay, now can I wire these things together? Wrench, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know why I'm counting out the wire. And now I want to be down here, and I also wouldn't mind getting this water in here, so. Let's go ahead and connect these things up. Skeleton seems like he's trapped down there. Boop, 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 boop. All right, it's been connected up with wire. Now let's get the one second timer over here and connect that. And if I turn this timer on... Hey! Looks like we're doing something. Yeah, it looks like it's even going over the other side, and so I might be actually duplicating more of the water. Let's just kind of watch and see where the water level is. So this one, I have my cursor on it at the beginning. Not sure if this one's going up, but on the right side, it's definitely going up. And eventually it's going to be spilling over onto- yeah, so now the water's really going up. Neat! All right, we have a water duplicator duplicating. And then I think eventually once it catches up to this, my guess is once it gets above this, it's going to level off. But let's actually watch and see what happens, just so I can try to understand, get my own good mental model of what's going on here. But I think basically when the water hits the middle of the block and breaks off in two different directions, it ends up with more water than it started with. And this is a good time to catch up with the chat! Yeah, I saw that thing in the spoiler coming up in the next version of Terraria, and I am looking forward to it. Because that will be amazing. Amazing, I say. It looks like it's still going up. I wonder if it'll continue going up even after it gets above the, um, above the output pump over here. You don't need the duplicator thing, someone said. Yeah, so apparently maybe it just is making more water along the way. All right, let's put some blocks over here. We're gonna make a nice big underground water pool, and then we're gonna do some fishing. Yeah, it looks like it's still trying to go up. All right, pretty cool. Uh, all right, well. Oh, I didn't bring any bait. Uh, I might be able to catch some. Let's see if I can find uh, some little rocks to break that might have earthworms under them underground over here. If not, we'll just go grab some bait. But sometimes things like this. Or maybe... Hmm. Not seeing super awesome bait right now. All right, and this thing seems like it might be done. In any case, I made a bigger thing of water. I have a good sense of how I can do it now. Um, so we learned something. So I think I can pick these things back up. And so I will turn this off. I will pick that up. I'll pick up the outlet pump. I'll pick up the inlet pump. I'll pick up my wire. And we'll grab some bait. Uh, here's the pump. Wire cutter. Grab breath fresh air. Okay, I got my 20 wire. Yep, okay. Cool. Alright, so I know how to make more water. So I'll be prepared for that. Uh, Adam is standing right in front of the chest with my bait. Thank you. 
getting out of the way. Let's go grab some of it and go back underground there and see if we can catch ourselves a fishy fish. A fishy fish. The best kind of fish. Fishiest fish you ever fished. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Bloop, 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 bloop. There's a water leaf over here, and I don't have that many of them, so let's go ahead and grab it. Alright, and where am I? Oops. With respect to where I just was. Down here is where I just made it. Although there's even a bigger water thingy over here. But let's go fish in the one that I just made so that I feel like I accomplished something. May or may not be sound fishing logic. Oops. I hear a worm. Darn it. I hear no worm no longer. The worm is gone. I should try using one of those fishing bonuses. Fishing po potions. Oh, hey! Hey! I got it! That's the thingy, I think. Um, I do not need a brown pressure plate. Bonefish! Yes! And now we said we can keep fishing and possibly get a few of them that we can keep in a chest so that next time it comes up I'll be ready. So I'm going to try that technique this time around now and see if I can get more than one bonefish. Pumps won't pump over their tops. Ah, so that's why it finally stopped. Okay. So you can kind of use that as a way to set the level that you're going for. Awesome. There's another bonefish. And apparently they do not stack. Fascinating. Uh, I also don't need seven cobwebs. Or did I not pick up the other one? Hold on, did I pick up the other one? I don't see it on the ground over here. I didn't notice it in my inventory. Uh, but it does appear that we just picked that up. Let me check out my inventory again here, hold on. Yes. Oh, I got a rockfish! It's a different fish! Um, I think that's another good one for some kind of potion that I can't remember right now. Alright, other slime. You've got to go. Uh, any other things I need to drop off? I have plenty of blink root. Uh, slime banner. I can get lots of those, especially once I get a slime statue, so don't need to worry about that. Put in your piggy bank. Oh yeah, I forgot I have the piggy bank on me again. Now that I have two piggy banks, haha. -ha. That'd be a smart thing to do. Tin can. All right, a little unlucky there. So it seems like bass is the most common fish that you get pretty much everywhere. All right, Skeleton's gonna be coming here in a minute. Hey, buddy. I could just block this off, but where's the fun in that? Uh, let's go ahead, I've got rich mahogany. Let's make a rich mahogany platform here for the piggy bank and drop off. I guess for now, I'm gonna drop off. Um, all of my extra fishing stuff. There we go. That'll be good. That leaves me with plenty of inventory. Oh, it won't work if it's still in your inventory. That's why you wanted me to put it in the piggy bank. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Seaweed. Okay, so let's put the bonefish in particular in the piggy bank. Did not catch the meaning before. Okay. Thank you, Jacob. I'm learning. Woohoo! Hooray! I'm glad you're excited for the Don't Starve series, Guitar Girl. 
I played a bit of the original game before, but didn't play it very much because I chose not to LP it because it was so stressful. With two people, it's a little less stressful. It's still a tough game. Um, but definitely more fun than Alex was trying to uh, grow his channel a bit, and I've been a fan of his for a while, and so I was happy to team up with him for something, and so I think that'll be cool. A lot of seaweed down here, apparently. Alright, I definitely should have tried bringing one of those fishing potions along to see how much faster or better it was, especially if I was going to try to catch multiple of these fish. Fishing formula! Let's see, I think I'm tiring out. And I have been streaming for a lot longer than I thought, actually. And so... I'm still, are we sure the piggy bank is like a safe place to keep the bonefish? Because I still haven't managed to get a second one of them. Does it only scan your inventory? Old shoe. We'll see if I manage to get one here. And then... There's another wooden crate. Let's go ahead and open it in case something awesome. Heart Reach Potion and Iron Bars. Yeah, not too well. Awesome. Yeah, I see the snail swimming around up at the ceiling there. It's like caught in that little space. Yeah, I don't seem to be getting another one. I wonder if it can't be in your piggy bank because that's considered part of your inventory, kind of like since it follows your person around. So I wonder if I put it in a normal chest or even just like left it on the ground. Let's take a moment and experiment with that. I'm going to take the bonefish out of here and I guess I can just drop it on the ground over here actually. It's an important item. So I don't want to lose it, but... I do want to have it out of my inventory, so let's see if the game detects it now. And we'll try catching at least five more things and see if we get it. Fishing science! <laughs> Come for Terraria, stay for the snail watching. I like it. He's just going around in a circle. He's having a grand old time. Right above my highlighted fishing pole in my inventory. There's a whale of time, and then there's a snail of time. I hadn't looked at the picture yet, uh, but yeah. Spotting the problem with my pool. I guess I'll have to take a look at that shortly. But for right now, I'm just gonna catch three more fish, see if we get lucky. He's dancing to the music! Yeah! Dancing snail! He's going clockwise in a circle! to the funky underground music. So it could be that I got super lucky with the bonefish. Uh, or it could be that it only gives you one now and they've changed something and you can't stock up on them. Or yeah, it just could be a luck kind of thing. Let me try to catch at least one more fish. But then I'm gonna pick it up and head home. All right, let's go collect our quest. Before this day ends. Ah! Journeyman bait, seaweed planter. 
interesting. Uh, so what is a seaweed planter? Can be placed. Looks like it's just decoration. I put it on your table. I put it on the ground over here. Yes. All right, it's very beautiful. Thank you very much, crazy fisher dude. Ah, uh, yeah, I think maybe it's getting about time where... About time to hit the old dusty trail. Um, I will put away some inventory. If you have any super exciting things to say with regards to Terraria, now would be a good time to say them before I finish up here. Uh, we'll put my extra iron chains in here, perhaps. And probably quick stack some mud in there. Hellfire arrows or another kind of eye arrows. The yeah, rest of the inventory is reasonably clean. And how's the inside of the piggy bank look right now? It's got all that kind of extra fishing equipment stuff. I don't mind keeping that in there. Um. Yeah, I think that might be a good place to go ahead and call it for today. Oh, I've got Moonglow. Let's grab the Moonglow. I get some more Moonglow planted. Moonglow seeds, too! Uh, boop and a boop, maybe? Boop! And all of these are currently planted, and so I'm going to uproot one of the day blooms. And get some more Moonglow going. Great. Go quick stack those. RNG gonna RNG. Yeah, that's one of the things about this game. There's so much RNG. Also makes it rough on speed challenges in terms of terrain generation. Ooh, everybody wave your pseudopods. Well, I hope for the people who are here that you enjoyed the stream. And... Yeah, I'm not sure when I'll be streaming Terraria again. Uh, probably sometime in the next few days. So you can always subscribe to me on Twitch if you want to do that. You can uh, follow me on Twitter at Lorgon111, L-O-R-G-O-N-111. Um, or yeah, you can also check me out on YouTube at Lorgon111. So feel free to do those things. In the meantime, I will drop off my crazy fishing rod. And I think all the day here. Yep, just turned daytime and all the day blooms already blooming. Crazy day bloom. All right. Hope you guys are having a great day. And perhaps I will see you again in a future stream. Bye-bye.